USA is a tough country to get a PR for, similarly for Canada or any other country. But Australia has been one of those countries who is actually granting 1,85,000 PR visa offers. So if you have to become a registered doctor in Australia, AMC exam has to be cleared. Where are the exam centers located guys? The exam centers in India are located in Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, New Delhi and Mumbai. The AMC exam is held on multiple dates throughout the year and you can schedule the exam on your preferred date. So it's upon your ability. Medium, easy, hard questions will be given and that is adaptive kind of questions are given over there and you have to score 250 out of 500 for qualifying. No negative marking, very important and if you join team academically, you, we will prepare you within 16 weeks for this particular examination. Hello everyone, so we have been talking about Australia, we have talking about various cities in Australia like Sydney, Melbourne, looking at the infrastructure, looking at the kind of lifestyle people are living over there and also some of our relatives would be staying there and lots and lots of things about Australia. Hi all the doctors out here, this is me Dr. Sonal in front of you and we are going to discuss about how can doctors, the MBBS graduates, the MD graduates can practice as a practitioner, as a medical practitioner or a registered doctor in Australia. So right behind me you can see there's a heading written all about AMC exam. So yes, you heard it right. We'll talk about the Australian Medical Council exam. Why should you give AMC exam? What are the job opportunities there? What is the pattern? Because only through AMC exam can you get registered with APRA with Australia and practice as a doctor over there. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, the first question which comes to our mind is why choose Australia guys? You've heard about the PR visa offers which Australia easily gives the overseas candidates or the overseas practitioners, right? USA is a tough country to get a PR for, similarly for Canada or any other country. But Australia has been one of those countries who is actually granting 1,85,000 PR visa offers. Also, there's a specification or there's a surprise and there's a speciality for doctors out there. You guys come under skilled workers visa and you come under long-term visa. So even if you don't want to take PR, visa extension is very easy for you because you are a medical practitioner. So this occupation, this doctor occupation comes under long-term visa offers for Australia. So that's a very important and a very good advantage for all of you guys. You're getting one 5,000 plus job vacancies and AOD 3 lakh 80,000 to 4 lakh plus average salaries which is approximately 2 crore CR annually. So you are getting very very well paid in Australia and that's the reason why I chose Australia. Now coming down to this question, general practitioner salary in Australia. What is the general practitioner salary in Australia? Like someone would be an MBBS graduate, some would be MD, DMB or a DM graduate. What is the breakup for you guys? Coming first one to junior medical officer or resident medical officer. So if you are going as uh, a resident medical officer, this is one of the screenshot or testimonial which we have uploaded for you to see. It's annually salary is 80 to 120k per year right per year that is in dollars and this is in AUD okay it's in AUD the average medical officer salary there in Australia is this coming down to general practitioner maximum patients which you will get to see is 60 per day that is the maximum count 21 to 250 dollar per patient is what you are earning and 38 to 40 hours weekly five days so there's a great work-life balance you won't get uh, everyday night shifts and emergency shifts because you're actually working only five days in a week and working for 38 to 40 hours. So if you calculate 30, 13 to 40 is almost 1200 AOD per day and 6000 AOD weekly or 24,000 AOD, AOD monthly and one AOD is almost 60 rupees. So you can calculate how it goes. So it's almost 12 to 13 lakh per month and that is 12 to 13 lakh AOD. You understanding? 12 to 13 lakh per month, this is in rupees. Okay, so you're actually earning 24,000 AOD per month, which is almost 13 to 12 lakh per month, right? So this is the breakup which we have shown it to you if you talk about AOD or if you talk about Indian rupees. These are some more testimonials. AMA report project staggering GP shortage. So you can see the general practitioner shortage 
has come up as a headline in Australia and AMA has actually given a detailed report Australian Medical Association okay what can I earn as a general practitioner so the annual salary on AMA's website is given as 3800024 lakh AUD that is the average annual salary for a GP for a general practitioner in Australia so how can you earn that much money how can you go and practice in Australia through the AMC exam what is the AMC exam guys Australian Medical Council exam is AMC exam. So the Australian Medical Council or the AMC exam needs to be cleared in order to become a registered doctor in Australia. So if you have to become a registered doctor in Australia, AMC exam has to be cleared. The Australian Medical Council assesses the skills and expertise of the doctors seeking registration in Australia. So there is a written exam and there is a practical exam. What is the written exam called as? AMC MCQ multiple choice question right so as they mentioned both the AMC MCQ exam and the AMC clinical exam are administered by Pearson U so Pearson U is basically a body which conducts your examination and you can take it from the Pearson U test center around the world so if you are in India you can take it from any Pearson U center from India similarly if you are in any other South Asian countries and if you have a Pearson View Center in your country, you do not have to travel to Australia to sit for the written exam. But for the clinicals, you have to. Once the exam is completed successfully, you may apply for a work or a PR visa and you can practice as a general practitioner. So let's dive deeper into what is the AMC exam. Where are the exam centers located, guys? The exam centers in India are located in Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, New Delhi and Mumbai. The AMC exam is held on multiple dates throughout the year and you can schedule the exam on your preferred date. Unlike NEET PG, unlike any government job exam in India, AMC exam is conducted every month except December and January because there they have vacations over there. So you have multiple attempts to give for, right? Unlimited attempts to give for. If you want, you feel you're prepared in this month. Yes, I'll book the exam for the next month. So it's that easy and it's that approachable. You do not have to wait for one year if you get unsuccessful. So that is a very big thing. Your time gets does not get wasted. What is the MC MCQ exam? It is a 3.5 hour test with 150 multiple choice questions, which you can take in your nearest exam center after completing the skill assessment. What is skill assessment? Document verification. So they'll basically check whether you are a registered medical practitioner in your country or not. If you get that. Uh, if you get uh, yes you are if they feel they are convinced then they'll be giving you slot to book the AMC exam AMC written exam is 3.5 hours exam with 150 multiple choice questions so you have enough time to finish up the exam so it's almost 180 210 minutes 150 questions so the time limit is also very nice for you to assess and uh, think about the case scenarios okay what is the eligibility criteria no experience is required guys this is a very important question which comes up always whether do do we require experience or not no experience is required okay bachelor's degree in medicine mbbs md ms from a recognized college or university and degree from a university listed in the world directory of uh, medical schools so you only one thing that your university should be listed in wdoms that's the most important thing only then you can it for the AMC exam. No experience is required, just your MBBS degree is required and you must be a registered practitioner. Now coming down to the steps, let's just revise the steps again. Number one, document verification which is AMC portfolio account opening. Epic number is degree verification. Next is AMC 1 exam and you can practice, if you pass your AMC 1 exam, you can practice as a uh, assistant medical practitioner under any registered medical practitioner in Australia under supervision that is called limited registration next you give the English proficiency exam AMC clinical and you get registered as a doctor in Australia so these were the steps moving on to the documents required for initial assessment you require an MBBS degree valid passport government ID proof passport size photograph and medical registration certificate if you have any now talking about English proficiency, you can either take IELTS, PTE or OET. For IELTS, individual band of 7. For PTE score, for doctor is set at 65. For OET is 350 out of 500. Well, basically this is for registration purpose. You do not count it in the step of the examination. Coming down to the pattern, as I've already mentioned, 150 questions all have to be answered. Time is 3.5 hours. And the AMC score, now very important thing guys, it's a rash methodology. AMC score is based on measurement of the candidate's ability level. 
and represented on a scale of 0 to 500 and a passing score is 50 percent so it's upon your ability medium easy hard questions will be given and that is adaptive kind of questions are given over there and you have to score 250 out of 500 for qualifying no negative marking very important and if you join team academically you we will prepare you within 16 weeks for this particular examination okay coming down to clinical exams clinical exam is very simple so you get 16 workstations you will have to stay at one station for 10 minutes in that 10 minutes there will be uh, two minutes reading time and eight minutes assessment time so there will be two pilot stations will be not scored 14 of them will be non-pilot stations okay which is scored now four rest stations are also there in 20 minutes each not scored how do you go by 16 stations okay one two three four rest station one two three four rest station similarly so after every four stations there will be one rest station for you in the clinical exam you have demos over there okay your passing mark is you have to qualify at least nine stations out of 14 stations and there is no limit on the number of attempts you can take the clinical exam how many times as you want what are the pr offers eligible for permanent visa 190 186 189 for 482 one year experience is required 494 three year experience 491 regional sponsored visa so these are the visas which are given by your employer according to your experience Coming down to academically preparation, so yes, we offer you a very good course to clear the Australian Medical Council exam. You can search YouTube. There are in number of students who have actually qualified AMC with us and they have given their testimonials. You can watch it for your reference. And the sole aim of this course is provide all the necessary guidance, adaptive kind of test, AI-based grant test, recorded lectures if you are working and not able to attend live classes. 24-7 community support, you get your, uh, you know, alumni meet uh, assistance also and regarding documentations as well. So this is Academically's AMC success story. This is the recent one. Uh, you can see so many students have qualified. You can see their interviews also, right? These are all the qualified students of Academically. So yes, this is our contact ID. If you're there in Australia, you can connect with us. You can go and visit our Sydney office. If you're there in India, you can visit our office in Dehradun or in Hyderabad from northern, uh, northern and southern regions and you can definitely connect to us on this ID. So go to our website, check out the AMC exam preparation course, scan this QR code if you want and you can get all the details, write down your name, email, phone number and the counsellors will connect with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis on a free video counselling session. So that's it from our side for the AMC exam. If you are trying to register in Australia, academically is the best platform for you. If you have any other queries or concerns, you can connect with me and our team and we'll be happy to guide you. Thank you so much.